you're going to learn how to make a table fresh without existing data in this video. In the past video, I showed you that you can take existing data, right click, and you can convert to table. But sometimes we want to create a table from scratch or brand new, and this is how you do it. So we're going to create a new tab here. You can start typing at table and find tables. And here we can insert any of the featured tables here. We have event planning, custom relations, project management. But let's, in our case, create a blank table. Each of these columns, we can double click and name. Let's put name here and sales here. We can rename the table by double clicking on the table name and saying sales data. And we can also put in data validation, which includes something like a drop down menu if we want to select from certain people, Andy, Dwight, and Jim. Click done. And now we have a drop down for the person's names. Sales, we can also make sure that we always enter a number. This is data validation, making sure it is a number. So we don't say something like none. We have a little error here that says invalid, must be a number, okay, 55. Or if somebody types in 25, this is not a number, we need to actually have the number 25. We can also add more and more interesting elements to this table. We can add different things like a checkbox and say approved for bonuses and if they are approved. There it is. We can add more than one drop down. We can add another drop down here for January, February, add another item, March. We can add all the months here. And here we go. We got January's numbers. We get Andy did 56 in February, in February. There, and we have now created a table from scratch without existing data. And we can create any number of these tables on any number of tabs. We can also select a certain amount of data here and we can convert to a table here. We can have multiple tables on the same sheet or on the same tab. But personally, for my personal taste, I like to create a new table for each sheet so that it is very easy to navigate. Instead of the sales data name being here, I put the sales data here on the tab. If you want to get more out of Google Sheets than you ever have before, consider subscribing here on YouTube to Better Sheets.